Hey, Shook. <laughs> Welcome back to New Sierra Tarot. So, we are here to do an all sign check in because I have not been around. <laughs> okay. Um, a lot has been going on, as you know. But I was like, I've been itching to do a reading for a long time. And I just haven't had the time or like, like you know the circumstances just hasn't like been right just you know it's just crazy so yeah you know i have a new deck it's called the uh cosmic insights deck okay got it off of amazon real cute deck. and it has stuff in it like you know liar and patience you know like so we're just going to use it and see like what's coming in for you starting with all signs which is all signs starting with aries down to pisces um like what's coming in for you right now Current energy check-in, right? Current energy check-in, that's what it is. A current energy check-in for all signs. Okay, start with Aries and going down to Pisces. Okay, now this can be for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. Okay, so apply how it fits. If it does not resonate, don't try to make it. No. Okay, so yeah. Let me put some gloss on because, <sighs> yeah, it's pretty hot where I'm at. Uh, it's like the sticky hat. So, <laughs> like, yeah. All right. All right. Holy Spirit, angels in heaven, what is the current energy for Aries at this time? Current energy for Aries. Please make it clear, Spirit. Mm. Okay vacation okay it says you will be traveling soon okay maybe on some type of vacation okay with patience just a few more months good things come to those who wait okay just be be calm stay stay calm okay stay calm all right with air sign on the bottom it says gemini libra or an aquarius so you might be going with a gemini a libra or an aquarius to a vacation on some type of vacation. Just be patient. Don't rush the process. Okay, Aries. It's for Aries spirit. We're gonna clarify these messages for Aries. Current energy. All right. So, vacation. Let's see. Why is vacation here for Aries spirit? Come on, come on. Why is vacation here for Aries Spirit? Mm -hmm. The Ten of Pentacles, okay? That's long-term, longevity, okay? Um, planting seeds, thinking about family, future, okay? Yeah, with the Six of Cups, maybe with someone from your past, okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe someone you have children with, yeah? Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups. You don't trust them. You don't trust them, okay? But the Four of Cups, maybe you've been disappointed by them before, so you don't trust them. Why is vacation here for Aries? Okay, the moon. So this person may be coming towards you, like, you know, in a more, let's work together, let's, you know, get on the same page in a more collaborative, like, mode. And you don't trust it, okay? With that moon energy, you're like, where is this coming from, okay? Because that three of pentacles, this is why I say that, with that three of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're defensive with the seven of wands, okay? You're definitely defensive. You don't know exactly where it's coming from. You don't trust it, okay? Yeah. You've been waiting for maybe communication for the, you know, from this person, um, hoping for, like, waiting for, like, some type of justice or, you know, reciprocity, right? Yeah. With the ten of swords, it just may be... Yeah, didn't come through, okay? Um, you could have even, you know, been like just pushing this person away because of some type of betrayal. Like anything future forward, you just were not interested in because of some type of betrayal. With the Knight of Wands energy, this person could have been a player. Mm -hmm. That's the player energy. Okay. Spirits like patience. Okay. Why is patience here for Aries? Why is patience here 
for Aries spirit. Patience for Aries. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I came out. Patience for Aries. So we have the King of Pentacles, okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, all right, with the Five of Swords, okay, that's that trust issues, you know, I'm not sure about this, I'm not sure about this, okay, because of some type of heartbreak with the Three of Swords, so it's like just patience, okay, because right now you might be going through some type of conflict, okay, or there may be some type of conflict going on between um, you and maybe like an air sign, okay, with this air sign energy here, okay, or vice versa, all right? But spirits like see things from a different perspective, okay? Um, with the star energy, it's like you're getting what you want, okay? This is like wish fulfillment energy, okay? So change your perspective on it. You might be like, oh, no, um, I don't trust this person. They're going to break my heart. So it's like, uh, patience, okay? Because of this air sign energy, okay? Overall, why is the air sign here for Aries? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to get an apology, okay? You're going to get an apology, um, yeah, with the Seven of Souls for, like, dishonesty, okay? Like, someone not being honest, someone not being trustworthy, someone putting you putting you in a position where you couldn't trust them, okay? Yeah. With the Nine of Swords and the Six of Swords, mm -hmm. whatever has been, like, really causing anxiety between the two of you with the six of swords this is like someone that wants to change things and move things into into a calmer state the nine of swords energy is about like stress and anxiety sabotage energies like you know it's just like a bunch of uh overthinking and stuff like that like it's um it's like this person will, will want to get to the point where they, you guys can just kind of get through that okay anything else for air sign yeah they're going to be honest with you, Ace of Swords, okay? They're coming to you with the truth, okay? Page of Pentacles, they're going to make an offer. There's someone that is giving you, giving from their heart, okay? Yeah. King of Cups, or Knight of Cups, okay? that's the, So the Knight of Cups is about romantic gestures. Maybe that's why you're getting a vacation, okay? So that's what I have for you, Aries. Moving on to Taurus. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. For Taurus spirit, what do we have for Taurus? Current energy checking. What's the current energy for Taurus? What's going on with Taurus? Guardian. Okay. With let go on the bottom. So it says, a lost loved one watches over you, okay? So you have a guardian looking over you today, okay? Or in this current moment, okay? In the current energy source. With let go on the bottom, make room for the new beginning. Okay, make room for the new beginning on its way to you now, okay? Like you have a guardian look uh, looking over you right now, Taurus, Okay? And spirit is guiding you to like make room for new, okay? Let go, relax, release, okay? Why is guardian here? Four towards spirit. Please make it clear, spirit. Why is guardian here for Taurus?
guardian for Taurus spirit. The her the hermit, I'm sorry. Okay, with the devil. Okay. You've been thinking a lot about like, you know, with the Ten of Cups behind that. Like about like um maybe like like your ways or um your viewpoints or you know um yeah, when it comes to like partnerships and relationships, um, because we definitely saw the devil with the Ten of Cups, it's like you had like have like a negative view on love, maybe having like a negative view on love or relationships or long term or happy ever after, right? You've been thinking a lot about that, okay? Why is Guardian here for Taurus? Mm hmm. Maybe because of some type of betrayal with the Ten of Swords, okay? You have like a negative view on love or relationships because of some type of betrayal that might have had happened in a relationship or a partnership of some kind. You've been thinking on, about it, reflecting on it, okay? With the Five of Wands and the Nine of Wands, you're thinking about how like that's been like keeping you a little bit like uh, guarded or stuck, okay? And you kind of, with the Nine of Wands, like tired of allowing that to like stop you with the full energy, okay? Yeah, I feel like the full energy, you're like ready to step out on faith, but you're still like a little guarded, okay? Maybe a little distracted even, okay? Why is let go here for Taurus? It says make room for the new beginning on its way, okay? Yeah. The Queen of Swords, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, all right? With the Six of Swords, I mean, Six of Pentacles. I don't know what's up with me. And the judgment, okay? The Six of Pentacles, Pentacles is about equal give and take. The judgment energy is about making a decision, okay? Yeah. Um, with the Knight of Swords energy. Okay. The judgment energy can also be about, like, second chances, okay? You might, be, you might want a second chance or may be interested in a second chance because maybe some words have been saved with the Knight of Swords energy. And, you know, that weren't the best and you want to move past it, Okay. Why is let go here for Taurus? Okay, this could also be you um, removing yourself, making a decision to remove something so that you can move on, okay? Because the Spirit is guiding you to let go. The Knight of Souls energy can also be removing, okay, moving something so that you can move on to common waters. For Taurus Spirit, why is let go here? Okay. The Queen of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So love, okay, or the love you have for someone is what's holding you back, okay? And Spirit is saying let go, okay? Make room for the new beginning that's on its way to you now, okay? With the Knight of I'm sorry. I always call him the knight because it kind of looks like it. But this is the king of wands, which is a leadership energy and the death card. You have to step up as a leader to put something to rest. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put something to rest. And then with the knight of cups energy, that's the Romeo energy, giving of yourself, like, you know, putting your heart on your sleeve. Express yourself. Show your emotions. Okay. Um, right now, you're giving the energy of guarded Okay, guarded towards emotions, guarded towards relationship, guarded towards that happy ever after energy. Okay, the Eight of Wands energy and the Six of Pentacles. All right, this will guide you or get you moving towards something that is more balanced. Okay, towards equal give and take. Okay, and that Queen of Swords energy came up with the equal give and take. All right, but the Seven of Pentacles energy and the High Priestess energy is like you're evaluating something that you already know, okay? The Seven of Pentacles is like, you know, evaluation and getting, looking at, you know, it's like procrastinating, okay? The High Priestess energy is the inner knowing, okay? You're um, procrastinating, reflecting, waiting on something that you already know, okay? That you already know will be successful with the Six of Wands, okay? So, that's what I have for you, Taurus. Moving on to Gemini. Okay. All right. 
So, we have for Gemini, current energy for Gemini spirit. Okay, we have confession, all right? All right, it says, someone has something to tell you. With love spell, you've been bewitched, okay? <laughs> okay, so someone could be telling you something about a spell or they feel like you put a spell on them or something about spells or something. I don't know. Maybe they are going to tell you that they did put a spell. I don't know. It's some type of confession about a little spell or they feel like they are under your spell. Let's see. One more shuffle for Gemini. Okay. But you're going to get some type of confession. All right. Why is confession here for Gemini spirit? Hmm. Ten of Swords. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords. This is a betrayal. Okay. Yeah. You're going to get some type of confession with um, that's a betrayal. Okay. With the Six of Pentacles energy, someone has definitely been breadcrumbing you. Okay. Yeah. Because they've been juggling. Okay. Maybe a water sign. All right. That's a um, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Okay. With the Judgment energy, this could be someone saying that they want a second chance. Okay. They made a mistake. Whatever. Why is confession here? For Gemini. Confession. For Gemini. Okay. The death card. Okay. So, this confession could be a betrayal, but I feel like it's also someone confessing to clear things up. Okay. This can be like, I'm putting this to rest. It's something that's done. Okay. With the ending card being here. Um, Virgo energy with the hermit, okay? Someone has been thinking a lot about things, okay? Their perspective has changed. They've had time to look at things with the seven of pentacles, really review it, really, you know, weigh their pros and cons on it. Why well, is confession here for Gemini? Okay, what they were doing, they are definitely saying that they're putting it to a close. Hmm. Yeah, because they feel like it's time with the will of fortune energy. Okay, this is about moving the wheel, okay, going to the next stage in life, okay, um, change, okay, it's like they're ready for some change, ready for things to get moving, okay, and they know what the page of sources is like, I know, okay, it's like, I realize it, I know, I heard about it, I've, you know, talked about it, or whatever the case may be, I know that I've been avoiding this with the two of swords, okay, I've been closed off, I've been, you know, not addressing this is something that hasn't been addressed. Okay. I've been avoiding something. Okay. Uh huh. Closed off even. Okay. With the Six of Wands and Justice. Okay. Um, this can be off of like someone's, you know, perception, ego, like how people see me. Okay. Um, but the Six of Wands this can also be like making something public. Okay. Especially with justice here and the devil energy, just like someone saying, like, this is what's right because I haven't been the best with the devil energy. Something hasn't been the best. So this is what's right. It's like it's time for me to create some type of change here. Right? Um, they know that this is something they've been avoiding. Okay. Why is love spell here? You've been bewitched, <laughs> is what it's saying. Why is love spell here for Gemini? Why is love spell here? I do feel like someone wants to do what's right. The justice energy tried to come out. Yeah. yeah. This is about having a new beginning. Ace of Cups, okay? Brand spanking new start, all right? With the Hierophant energy here. Yeah. Someone is um, communicating maybe why they were so defensive, why they blocked off or closed off. Um, could be around finances or... Um, opportunities okay yeah with the six of cups mm. this could be like someone from your past okay it's gonna be um an offer for reconciliation even okay someone apologizing to you giving you some type of offer okay um maybe for like causing confusion mm. the ace of swords and the nine of wands 
this is definitely someone telling you the truth of why they've been so guarded or were guarded okay yeah something that has definitely been a secret okay They could have been in a commitment, okay, with the higher for energy. They could have been some type of secret commitment that they were um, dealing with, handling in, participating in even, okay? Yeah, because there is some type of betrayal here that someone is definitely putting to an end, but they're telling you about it, okay? Yeah, they're communicating why they were so um, defensive, but also, like, they're also, like, telling you, like, but I'm, I'm serious, like I'm standing my ground on, on being single. I'm I'm definitely doing this type, you know. They're letting you know, like, yeah, this is what happened, but I'm definitely putting an end to it now, type energy, right? Moving on to cancer. <laughs> We have the Cancer Spirit one more shift. Okay. We have for Cancer. Current energy for Cancer Spirit. What's going on with Cancer right now? Current energy. For Cancer. All right. So you have a narcissist. Okay. It says someone is too full of themselves. Okay, this is a narcissist, right? With let go, make room for the new beginning that's on its way to you now, okay? So someone is definitely a narcissist and you need to let their ass go. Purr, okay? Period, okay? <laughs> For real. All right, so let's see. Full cancer spirit. Who is this narcissist that they need to let go? Full cancer why is narcissist here for cancer? Someone is definitely full of themselves. Okay. Why is narcissist here for cancer? Please make a clear spirit. Narcissist for cancer. Mm -hmm. With the sun card, it could be a Leo, okay. Lover's energy, okay. Okay, so someone could be saying some things to you that makes you very happy, okay. Um, but the lover's energy could be a Gemini. Someone is, you know, talking to you about, you know, making a decision, um, about partnership, about you know being together, even, okay. Why is narcissist here for Cancer? Mm -hmm. This is someone who might have betrayed you, okay? Yeah. Could definitely be a Virgo or a Gemini. This is like someone is like, oh, you know, can we make a, create a way to move past this? Um, you know, it's, it's, you know, talking about their actions from the past. Like, can we make a, a way to move past this? Um, yeah, they're just telling you everything you want to hear. Okay, why is narcissist here for cancer? Yeah, the five of swords try to come out. That's like manipulation, okay? Yeah. Why is narcissist here for cancer? Mm. With the will of fortune, okay? The knight, I'm keep calling him a knight. He is a king, maybe, okay? The king of wands with the devil energy, okay? They're like, oh, they're changing their ways. They're not, they're no longer like how they maybe used to be, okay? Mm -hmm. Could be someone that you like see as like your person with the Ten of Cups. They could be saying that, oh, they're ready to move towards like, you know, long term, you know, happy after, let's make this official type energy. Okay. It says make room for the new beginning that's on its way. Why is this card here for Cancer Spirit? With the Hierophant energy, 
the Three of Pentacles, the Death Energy, and the Ten of Cups. Eight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, Empress. Okay. Someone could definitely be communicating to you that they're ready to move this forward, that either a mother figure had them stuck in their head or just progressing things forward was something that, you know, they were kind of stuck on. But they could be saying to you, um, with this higher energy and the Three of Pentacles, someone could be trying to build something together, um, discuss long term, build maybe even like some type of spiritual practice. That they're ending this Ten of Cups, that there's some type of transformation here. That whatever that they were in, that they're closing out. Okay. Why is let go here for cancer? Let go for cancer. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. 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 For let go for cancer. Okay, three of cups energy and the page of cups. This person might ask you out, maybe on a date, okay? Um, yeah, uh, maybe to like apologize and to make things better with you. They're going to tell you that they procrastinated on moving things forward, maybe because of a mother figure with that empress energy, okay? They were, you know, that someone else delayed things, okay? Yeah, but they want to like, you know move things forward and that maybe that they regret waiting around or you know regret like delaying things but spirit is like this is a narcissist okay. <laughs> so you apply how you want to okay. all right for leo what do we have current energy for leo Current energy for Leo spirit. Current energy for Leo. Date night with challenges, okay? So it says, get ready to be wined and dined. Okay? Okay. With challenges, make a decision, work on inner healing, okay? Okay. So if there have been some challenges in the connection, okay, this could be um, someone's way of, you know, getting through those challenges to wine and dine you, okay? Let's take you on a date, all right? But you have to make a decision if that's even something you want, okay? Because if they're going to take you wine and dine, but you don't, you know, you've kind of like put the plug, pulled the plug on it, you know, pointless. Why is date night here for Leo? Date night for Leo. Okay. Okay, the Eight of Swords. The Three of Wands. The Queen of Swords. The Seven of Wands. Okay, and the Three of Pentacles. So, someone could have been a little stuck um, on, like the future okay what the future is going to look like someone could have been delaying things okay when it comes to like you know moving things forward the future uh building things working together uh three of pentacles um they could be ready to get on the same page with you now this person that could have been delaying things could be an air sign a gemini libra and aquarius um yeah that's been kind of like blocking things okay this person sees you as, the, as a wish fulfillment with the nine of cups okay they feel really weighed down, okay? Maybe they've been holding this in as a secret with the moon energy. Um, and they just feel really weighed down by, you know, like keeping it from you, okay? Yeah. This seems like someone that has been stuck on whether to go towards their goals or desires with that star energy on this eight of swords, okay? Waiting around to make a decision, okay? Um, because of someone else. Mm -hmm. um the high priestess with the three of swords um 
they could have a secret that you know could be heartbreaking or or they could have been holding in some you know type of heartbreak or disappointment like not sharing you know that with you okay yeah because they created it themselves all right whatever it is is like they, they did that okay um if there are trust issues between the two of you they know they created that okay why is challenges here for leo why is challenges here for leo spirit Challenges for Leo. Challenges for Leo, sir. They try to come out already. The Page of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Okay. They made an offer in the past, and that's a decision that they regret. Okay. This could be to a Taurus Virgo Capricorn feminine energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords. Yeah. They might even say, like, you know, they did this because they weren't sure or um, they didn't trust the situation. They didn't know, you know, like being like mentally conflicted, like not sure. Like this, can, this is the five of swords energy is like my mind's playing tricks on me. I'm not sure. Like I, I see things one way when they really they're not. You know, they really you know they're not that way. They aren't. You know what I'm saying, right? They made an offer in the past, and that's a decision that they regret. Okay, but they are going to tell you some stuff. That was a challenge. Okay, so work on inner healing, right? Make a decision and work on inner healing. Okay? All right. Virgo. All right. Okay. Full of Virgo spirit. Full of Virgo. Okay. Current energy for Virgo at this time, Spirit. What's the current energy for Virgo? Okay. Gold digger. Okay. They want your money being used. Okay. So there's some gold digger with distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant that you may be distant from. Okay. There could be a gold digger that you are distant from or that you're giving distance. Okay. Because with vacation on here, it says you will be traveling soon. Um, yeah, with an earth sign. You could be traveling, you know, with another earth sign or you being the earth sign, Virgo, are traveling, okay? But there's a gold digger that you may be giving some type of distance to, okay? They just want money from you, okay? Let's see. One more from for Virgo. Okay. Why is Gold Digger here for Virgo? Why is Gold Digger here for Virgo? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone knows, okay? Someone's been keeping an eye on you, Page of Swords. They've been watching you. They, you know, been keeping an eye on you, okay? And they know that you either have some type of new opportunity or new money or something that is, like, going to yeah be like a wish fulfillment for you this this ten of cups energy is like you know happily ever after they see a new opportunity in your in your works okay they've been keeping an eye okay it's like someone that knows you got something good coming in and they want to mess it up okay and then they, they want to work on things okay yeah this could be someone that betrayed you okay with the 
Queen of Wands and the Ten of Swords, okay, with the lovers, okay, someone that portrayed you. And now it's like, okay, I want to work on a new beginning. I want to, you know, step out on faith. I want to change things. Like, no. It's only because you know I got something good going on, okay? That I have something new. And it's making me really happy with this Ten of Cups energy, okay? It's bringing me peace and harmony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is someone that just wants to cause confusion to you, Virgo, okay? With the Hermit energy, all right? Yeah. And it needs to be removed. Okay? It needs to be removed. All right? And that's maybe that's why this distance is here. Why is distance here for Virgo? It's a gold digger need to get distance. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because they're causing drama with the Five of Wands. All right? Two of Swords and the Ace of Cups. They're trying to keep you from having a new beginning. Okay? With the King of Wands. Okay? To, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarian energy with the moon and the four swords this is someone that's trying to keep you from having a new beginning when they're actually taking steps to heal heal something from, you know heal a partnership maybe that they're keeping secret okay so they're trying to like recover something off to the side but causing drama in what you got going on, okay, in your new beginning. Why is vacation here? It says you will be traveling soon. Okay. The Ace of Wands tried to come out. This is, a, this is a sexy vacation. Why is vacation here for Virgo? Why is vacation here for Virgo, okay? The Page of Wands. The Seven of Wands, okay? If you get communication while you're on your vacation, don't even answer it, okay, with the seven of wands. Just block it, okay? <laughs> don't even answer it. Block them, okay? Any communication that's coming through while you're on your vacation is to block, okay? All right? Close out that cycle with the world energy, okay? It's the universe energy, but it's the world. Close out that cycle, okay? Because it's just causing you stress and anxiety, okay? This is someone who, yeah, wants to interfere, okay? Yeah. It wants to interfere. There's someone that wants to interfere. Why is vacation here? Go over there. Because it's time. <laughs> All right. With the Will of Fortune, uh, Virgo, it's your energy. Okay. Yeah. It's time for you to be in a relationship with someone that is very loving, caring. Okay. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it's time for you to be in a relationship, in a relationship with someone that gives love back to you. Okay. And... With that will of fortune energy, it's a part of your destiny. It's time for you to move forward. Okay, the will is spinning. Stay with the will. Don't get stagnant or stuck with somebody who just want to throw salt in your happiness. Okay, for free. Don't let them do it. Don't let them do it. Don't let them do it. For real, man. I'm serious. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Libra. <laughs> it's for Libra. All right. What's coming in for Libra? What do you mean? You know, what's the current energy, actually? For Libra. Yeah, current energy was coming in for Libra. Current energy was coming in for Libra. For Libra, spirit. Current energy was coming in for Libra. Okay. No and honeymoon. So it says no. It's not the right time. Okay. With honeymoon. Honeymoon phase. Attending someone's wedding, okay? With gold digger on the bottom, they want your money being used, okay? So, no, it's not time to, you know, fall head over heels for something because it's the honeymoon phase, okay? You could be going to a wedding, okay? But I feel like it's no, this is the honeymoon phase. Someone is trying to use you, okay? So, let's see. One more for Libra. It could feel real good right now. Okay, let's see. Why is no here for Libra? No. For Libra. Okay. 
in the Hierophant, okay? With the Two of Wands and the Eight of Cups. So, if you're thinking about, like, long-term marriage and stuff like that, you know, maybe because you're really happy with someone, things are going really good. Spirit is like, no, okay? Yeah, with the Four of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Because whoever you're dealing with, they're going to walk away from you. Not they're more likely I'm not gonna say going to they're likely to just dip off okay because this person could be definitely a gold digger honeymoon is here this person is just you know it's the honeymoon phase okay it's a honeymoon phase with the four of wands and the five of pentacles this is the one that will abandon the relationship leave you out in the cold and leave you in your head looking crazy okay why is honeymoon here for libra so no to a long-term commitment right now because this person might walk away from you, okay? With the Five of Pentacles, okay? And the Five of Swords, all right? Yeah. With the Five of Pentacles energy, mm -hmm. Page of Swords and the Emperor. This person don't have any money, okay? And whatever they're, you know what I'm saying, dreams they're selling to you, Five of Swords, is all bullshit. Just trust and believe. They don't have any money. They don't have it like that, okay? So whatever they're telling you, it's all bullshit, okay? This person knows that you are an emperor, okay? And this is someone that can handle it. This is someone that can take care of it. This is someone that can step up, someone that can do it, okay? Yeah. And, yeah. Why is Honeymoon here for Libra? This person knows who you are, and they, they are after your stability, okay? The star energy... And the Nine of Pentacles. They want your money. They want your stability. They feel like you can make it right. You can fix it. Okay? King of Pentacles. Okay? With the Six of Pentacles. Okay? You can give it to them. You can help them be successful. You can, you can give them the success they need. Okay? You are the King of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Okay, they're, they're saying you're the stable one. You know, you got it, right? This person's a gold digger. Don't do it. Why is gold digger here? For a Libra. It says they want your money. You're being used, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Close out that cycle, okay? With the world energy. With the Ace of Cups here, there is something new coming for you, okay? Brand spanking new. Close out the cycle with this gold digger, all right? Because the Seven of Swords energy is telling you they are not being honest, okay? Five of Wands and the Devil, okay? They are drama. They are toxic. And you need to remove them. Just get rid of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They want you to fix it. It's not your job. Okay? Don't let them do it. Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. <laughs> I don't know why I gotta do that so early today. For Scorpio. Okay? Alright. Current energy. What's coming in for Scorpio spirit? Current energy. What's coming in for Scorpio? divorce okay with a liar you're divorcing a liar okay divorce with liar okay it says everything no scratch that it says experiencing a breakup okay with liar be careful of someone sneaky okay so not to be trusted let's see you are divorcing a tall tale teller. Yeah. Tall tales. Why is divorcing here? Divorce here for Scorpio. Why is divorce here for Scorpio? No more tall tales. Mm -hmm. Could be a fire sign. An Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It flipped, okay, so it could be someone that's very arrogant, a dick, okay? Yeah, 
with the empress and the devil okay yes they could say that they got all these resources or they're going to do this then the third with you maybe it could have even been lying about a mother figure okay um whatever of what they're going to do this could be someone that's just like you know you tell you all that I'm, I'm doing this i'm doing that they're not doing anything okay could be that yeah this could be someone that you are married to or were married to with that queen of wands energy okay four of swords and the four pinnacles they can be saying that they want to repair things they want to heal things okay yeah but they have caused you a lot of drama they have caused you a lot of issues okay and it's time for you to end it okay with the four of swords the four of pinnacles the nine of wands and the king of pinnacles this person could have even put a drain on your finances okay so this can be someone that's coming in like you know that's that you are with that you're divorcing that maybe wants to heal things um and maybe hold on to the connection but they have been draining you maybe your finances even okay with the ace of wands energy and the five of wands okay there could be something that you're trying to start okay maybe another uh, energy with this king of pentacles okay that you're interested in or maybe you know want to start a new beginning with and they're causing drama with that okay why is liar here for scorpio mm -hmm. with the two of cups and the strength card okay two of cups strength card the ace of pentacles and the, yeah oh There's someone that's trying to keep you in a cycle. Okay, they come up with an excuse, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the two of cups with the strength card is someone who is may, who may have been resisting the connection, pushing back on the connection, okay? Um, with the sun card here and the page of wands, they might be telling you all good things, okay, right now to, like, make you happy. Um, but there are some secrets here, Okay. they could even be telling you telling you like okay i want to be honest i just want to tell you everything i just want to be honest okay but this is someone that's just like doing what they everything they can do to hold on to you okay yeah Anything else for lying? With Scorpio. Mm -hmm. The two of swords energy. Yeah. You could have been like, I've been trying to repair this for the longest time. And you have been so closed off to this. Now, why now? Why now? Why you, why you want to repair now? Right? Yeah. With the star energy and the page of swords. It's because they know... That you're going in a new direction okay that you're there's there's another person here and they're trying to start drama with that okay this is someone that wants to cause drama with this new energy that's in that's around you okay now they're like oh i want to repair things let me tell you why this was like this let me i want to be honest no more secrets it's only because you're moving on or they sense or hints that you're moving on okay they can even know that you're moving on, okay? Apply how it fits, but that's it. Moving on to Sagittarius. For my Sagittarius spirit. Hmm. What do you have for Sagittarius? Current energy was coming in for them, for my Sagittarius. Sagittarius. The gold digger. All these gold diggers. Okay, we have gold digger. They want your money being used. 
with challenges. Make a decision, work on inner healing, okay? All right, so this gold digger could be causing some challenges. Let's see. Two more. Okay. Why is gold digging here, Spirit? Or Saggy? Please make it clear, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Gold digger. Priestess, Justice, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you might have a gold digger on your hands right now that might be causing you some challenges, but you don't even know. Okay, with this high priestess energy. Maybe you do know. You know. Yeah, you do know. This is you know. Mm -hmm. You do know intuitively. Okay, you've been guided intuitively. Um, you've checked in with your spirit guides. You've already worked it out. You know that you starting new, you going in a new direction is the right way to go. Okay? You know this is this that would be the right way to go for you. Okay? To work on something new. Okay, work on what's next okay working on the future working on yeah you're ready to take a leap of faith okay you're ready to go into a new direction but maybe this gold dig is giving you challenges let's see why is challenges here it says make a decision work on inner healing maybe you're having challenges because you experience a gold digger maybe you're already done with the gold digger okay because you intuitively know that it's, it's right for you to have a new beginning Okay, maybe you just go digger wounded. Okay, let's see. Why is challenges here for Sag? You just don't want no more go diggers. Okay, okay. Okay, two of swords. The eight of wands. With the page of cups. With the Hierophant and the Three of Wands. Okay. One more for challenges for Sag. Ten of Pentacles, Temperance, the Lovers, Queen of Wands, Four of Swords. <laughs> Either, what's the Sagittarius? You could have like Scorpio in your chart or be connecting to a Scorpio or something. And I'm going to say, go back and check like another sign. It was another sign that had this too. But this is someone who may have been closed off to any type of communication or advances to like repairing things or fixing things. But now they want to apologize. Okay. But you intuitively know that it's right for you to have something new. Okay. Because this person may be a gold digger. You're like, no, this I need to go somewhere else. Okay, because this person at one point might have been closed off to you. 
and you might have been trying to move things forward, okay? But now they're like, oh, you know, they want to apologize. They want the Ten of Pentacles. They want the long term. They want to bring balance back to the connection, okay? Um, this could be a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius that wants to heal things, okay? The Spirit is saying close out that cycle, okay? With the world energy, okay? Because with the Queen of Cups energy and the Seven of Swords, this person is giving causing you trust issues. They're creating challenges with you within you because you you it's like you don't trust anything new. You get what I'm saying? It's like you gotta close this person off. Same but they were closed off close off to you when you were trying to repair. Okay. Yeah. This person is, is causing you like avoidance. It's like avoiding anything new. Okay. They make they're making you like shut down. Okay, <laughs> they're causing it. All right. Capricorn. The Capricorn. All right. Current energy was coming in for Capricorn. Current energy was coming in for Capricorn. Honeymoon with distance. So it says honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. Okay. You can be doing a honeymoon phase right now or attending a wedding with distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Okay. Maybe going through like the honeymoon phase with someone that has been distant. Okay. Or maybe you've been distant. There's been distance. <laughs> okay. Or maybe you're attending a wedding. That is at a distance. That's sweet. All right. Why is honeymoon here for Capricorn? Okay. Gee. The lovers. Okay. Major Arcana. Temperance. Mm, Major Arcana. Empress. Major Arcana. With the Emperor. Major Arcana. Spirit is all up and through this. Okay, so this is about a connection that is coming into balance, okay? This could be your divine counterpart with the empress and the emperor, okay? Yeah, someone you have a lot of love for, okay? You can be making an offer, they can be making an offer, okay? Yeah, this is about a connection coming into balance, okay? It's the honeymoon phase, all right? Let's look at distance. It says you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Why is distance here? Maybe you guys are coming into balance because of distance. Okay. With the magician energy and the queen of wands. All right. Queen of pentacles and the three of wands, six of swords. Okay. Someone could have, you know, kind of caused this emotional distance. Okay. Or physical distance with the magician energy. That's like creation. Okay. Um, manifesting. Okay. Creating. Okay. Yeah. With the Six of Wands energy, there is an opportunity for success, okay? For things to balance out, for achievement, okay? Eight of Pentacles and a Hierophant, all right? Yeah. You could be thinking about working on a commitment or putting in the work on commitment. Um, but Spirit is like, that's something you've been thinking about? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're not happy for cups. The five of wands is like conflict and competition and confusion with the five, with the seven of cups. Um, yeah, I was going to say it too. Five of swords, okay, trust issues, da, 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 da. ten of pinnacles, and some type of long-term commitment. You're not happy, okay? Um, with the ten of swords energy, there could have been a betrayal or you're ready to end it, okay? You're ready to put it to rest, okay? Um, yeah. So this distance could have been created because of another person. Um, but there definitely can be success. With the conflict and confusion and the five of swords with the ten of pentacles, there could have been a lot going on and you're just not happy with it. You're ready for it to be done. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, you're secretly burdened. Okay? You are holding on a lot that you are ready to release. 
with the honeymoon card here, you have a connection that is coming into balance. Maybe with a divine counterpart. Ready? Yes. Moving on to Aquarius. Yeah, I did good. I did good with my timing. Aquarius. For Aquarius, girl. Okay. What do we have for Aquarius? All right. You have a gold digger. Jeez, Louise. All these cards in here, and I keep getting gold digger. They want your money You're being used. Okay? <laughs> That's what it is. With confession, someone has to tell you something. Okay? Someone definitely has to tell you something. What is it? That they have to tell you. Aquarius. You want your money, you're being used. What have to tell you? It's a confession. For Aquarius. Why is Gold Digger here for Aquarius Spirit? There's a secret. Mm -hmm. With the King of Pentacles. Could be coming from a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Okay. They're going to tell you. All right. This is you, Queen of Swords. There's a secret that's going to be told to you. Okay. With the Apology card here, the Page of Cups. The Emperor and the Four of Swords. There's someone that is stepping up, owning to their shit, apologizing, okay, confessing, all right, to heal things, okay? They did something foolish in a relationship, but they're going to tell you, okay? Someone's going to tell you something. Why is confession here for Aquarius? Okay, the cherry energy with the five of cups and the six of wands. Okay, cherry energy, I mean, confessions. This can be a confession about a car, Con confession about moving, even. Why is confession here? For Aquarius. Maybe confession for Aquarius. Yeah. The Knight of Pentacles trying to come out. It's someone that's been procrastinating on, on telling you something. Confession for Aquarius. The Ace of Cups in the world, okay? So this is someone that's going to confess that they want to move towards something new, okay? With the world energy and the Hierophant, this is closing a commitment, ending a commitment, okay? Yeah. Um, and they, and they, they feel pretty pretty okay about it. Okay, with the temperance energy and the death card, this is like, I think this is the right thing to do. You know, why is confession here? Yeah. Page of Pentacles. All right, with the death card and justice. Hmm. If there's been any type of infidelity on your part, Aquarius, this person feels like it's, you know, it's justice. It's, you know, it's right for them to, you know, move on to something else, to close out this, you know, commitment and move on um, so that you can be single. 
um, if there hasn't been any type of infidelity, um, yeah, this is like someone is like, they feel like it's right to move on. The death card energy, they're making this offer. Let me keep going. Confession. Why is confession here for a praise? They want to move on to a new beginning. They feel like it's the right thing to do. They're okay with this. Okay. Strength card. They could be moving on to a Leo, an Aries, um, a Sagittarius. But the strength card energy, the Eight of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. They can have an offer on the table right now that they've been like resisting. They haven't been moving forward with it. They haven't, they've, you know, maybe been like holding off on it. Okay. But they feel like it's, you know, with the three of pentacles and the devil energy. Yeah. It's, this is, this is someone that feels like they've been trying to be cooperative with someone, maybe you, Aquarius, that is the devil. Okay. It's just like trying to work with the devil. Okay. It's like trying to work with the devil and they tired of that. Okay, they're tired of it. Nine of Wands. It's like, you know, it's like trying trying to work things out with the devil. Okay, so this is someone that's like, that has it off on the table. They're ready to move forward towards it. They have it off on the table. Okay, they've been resisting move towards it, but they're like, no. This is, What's blocking it is me trying to co cooperate with the devil. Okay, so this is someone that's definitely going to tell you a secret. Okay, and communicate. Maybe they see you as a gold digger. I don't know. Moving on to Pisces. Maybe you see them as a gold digger. What we have for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? What's current energy for Pisces? He's made clear spirit. What's coming in for Pisces? Current energy for Pisces. water sign open your heart okay so you are the water sign Can cancer pisces scorpio you are the water sign spirits like open your heart it will help you attract more love okay open your heart okay if your heart has been closed all spirits like open it open that drink okay <laughs> open that drink open your heart okay for pisces last sign y'all for pisces Okay, what do we have for Pisces spirit? Why is the water sign element here for Pisces? You don't trust nobody. Seven of Swords. Okay, and that needs to stop. Okay, death card. Change that. Okay, that's a portion of you that needs to change. It's toxic. It's no good for you. It's no, it's not good. Devil energy. Okay, you need to take control of that. Not good for you. Okay, you don't. You got trust issues. Bad. You got bad trust issues. So it's like change that around. Change that around. Okay. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, because you have a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, brand spec a new opportunity. All right. Someone's been uh, keeping an eye on you. Okay. They want to talk to you. Okay. They're interested in you know recovering. From, from, you know a situation. Okay. Maybe there was a tower. Okay, they want to heal things. They want to make things better. Okay. Yeah. You could have walked away from them. They could have walked away from you. Okay. But they had time to evaluate the situation. They want to move forward. But you don't trust them. Spirit's like, you got to change that. Mm -mm. Change your trust issues. Yeah. Yeah. Sun card and the three of cups. Okay. You will be happy. Okay. You're going to be happy. All right. If there's anything that you are not clear on with the sun card being here over top of the seven of swords, you're going to get the clarity you need. Okay. Yeah. The three of cups, injustice, and the hierophant. Okay. You guys coming together in a commitment 
It's the right thing to do. That's justice. Okay, star energy. It's your wish fulfillment. Release the trust issues. Pisces. Yeah. Release them. Oh, what was that? Ten of Pentacles. And we went back in. Okay. It could be successful with the Six of Wands. You gotta release the trust issues. Anything else for this water sign energy? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a wish fulfillment with the star. Okay, you gotta have hope. Allow yourself to heal. Mm -hmm. Knight of Cups. Okay, this is a romantic gesture. Someone's gonna come towards you. All right, to progress things forward with the Empress energy. All right, yeah, to heal things, to make things better. Okay, with the Six of Cups energy and the Three of Pentacles. Five of Wands. It's someone that wants a reconciliation. They want to rebuild. Okay. They want to collaborate. They want to compromise. Okay. Yeah. There could be some drama. It caused a lot of confusion. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. The Spirit is saying, open your heart. Open your heart. It's all one, one, one. Open your heart. Why is open your heart here for Pisces? Open your heart. Okay, yeah. Because you're getting communication, all right? You're getting all the communication. You're getting a lot of text. You're getting a lot of, you know, ex expression, all right? But you don't, you don't, you question it. You don't know. You're going back and forth. I, I don't know. I don't know, okay? With the full energy and the Ten of Cups, Okay, this spirit wants you to take a leap of faith. This is your happily ever after, but you're resisting it with the strength card. Okay, open your heart, spirit is saying for Pisces. Why is open your heart here for Pisces, spirit? Mm -hmm. Why is open your heart here for Pisces? Open your heart for Pisces. The devil. And the Four of Cups, okay? The Devil Energy with the Four of Cups, Nine of Cups, okay? You think something is toxic. You are going back and forth like, mm, I don't know, okay? This could even be like you're questioning a Capricorn. But this is like going back and forth of like, mm, I don't know, okay? Maybe because of past experiences, okay, that have jaded you, okay? And with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups, it's like you're rejecting or pushing away your happily ever after your Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment, okay? You're pushing that away. Open up your heart chakra. I do Reiki. Okay. Need a session? Check me out. Hit me up. My email down in the box. Come get a session. Release. Open up your heart chakra. So that's what I have for you, Shug. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing y'all soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey. Wish you guys already. Bye. <laughs>